Joya Bridges, I stand before you today with the blessing and honor of your love and your life and your hand in marriage. Patrick Taylor, my sweetest love, I can't express the honor and the joy that it is to stand before you, to pledge my heart and my life to you. As I stand before God and these witnesses, I vow to commit my life and love to you. I will love you unconditionally alongside patience and humility and forgiveness as Christ loves his church. Because I know you, Patrick, and I know that you will love her, will care for her, you will provide for her, will protect her, and do all the things that you said in your vows. The way that God wove our stories together is something that neither of us could have created on our own. And I will always be in awe that God has allowed me to love you, to walk beside you, to learn from you, to grow with you, to share my heart with you. I pray for you. Long before I knew you. And I thought that I knew what I wanted. But God gave me extravagantly more in you. As the years went by, we've, we've laughed a lot and grown a lot. There's nobody in this room who has laughed as hard and as much as we have. Don't fall in. You do have one. First cat. Man, that burn it. That is all wrong, son. Let me see that. You hold that. Large mouth bass. First cast. First cast. How about that? And boy is a fishing magician. I'm proud of you. It is a really sweet thing to be able to stand here today and celebrate you as Gloria's husband and my new brother because that is a answer to a specific prayer in my heart and a deep desire. I don't know what to say other than I love you. I believe Patrick's the right guy for you. And we'll pray day and night for you. Looking forward to walking life continually from this point forward with both of you. You have been a joy to raise. There are good times, there are hard times, but you could not be more loved. You're beautiful. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> Such a softy. I love you. Thank you. So excited for you. I know you're all with beautiful marriage. I've been praying for you all day. Now let me look. Oh my goodness. I didn't know what to expect. But you're gorgeous. Okay, you <laughs> go. I went to our church's VBS. I remember seeing a specific beam of light coming into the building. I'm not making this up. The light literally landed right on Gloria. 
I saw this little girl sitting behind me. She looked around my age, bright brown eyes, a white smile, and the biggest purple bow I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and while this moment today is incredibly precious to me, it's all the moments of doing life with you leading up to now that mean even more. special moment and special place to be standing here with Gloria on the altar before you as we, Lord, we become one in your sight, God. Lord, thank you for this day, this beautiful day, Lord, and just for all the amazing people that you have around us, Lord, to celebrate us and to, to come alongside us, Lord. And thank you most of all for Jesus. God says in Proverbs that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Patrick, as you enter into this covenant today, praise the Lord for his favor in sending you Gloria and his great grace. It will be your job every day to make sure that she knows how precious she is and how valuable she is to you and how grateful you are to God for her love, her wisdom, her encouragement, and her desire to love Christ more. And Gloria, I could say the same, live each day showing Patrick what a blessing he is to you and how thankful you are that, that God placed him in your life. See marriage as God sees it, precious and honorable, a sweet expression of his goodness and love towards you. As we take this next step into the unity of marriage, gifted to us and instituted by God, I'm beyond grateful to spend our lives growing closer to each other through love and sacrifice and closer to God by surrendering all things to Him. I will love you in the valleys and in the mountains of life and wherever God takes us because you are worth all of the love that I could ever give you at all times. I vow to cherish and honor you with my words, with my actions, and with my thoughts. You alone are the treasure of my eyes and heart, and it can be no one else but you. Your presence, your touch, and your voice is a gift in every moment that I never want to take for granted. The desire of my heart belongs to no one else. I make this covenant to you in the presence of our Father and only through the help of the Holy Spirit. And as Jesus came not to be served, but to serve, so too will I serve you and put your needs above my own. I vow to respect your leadership, to follow you faithfully, to bring joy into our mundane, to speak truth over you, to be your helper and encourager, and to have an unwavering and steadfast commitment to our marriage. I will fight for, protect, and nourish this love. You are my protector, my encourager, my confidant, my gentle steady, my best friend. You have a heart to meet the needs of others, a beautiful mind to understand the complexities of this world and a lightheartedness that brings so much joy to all around you. Through joy and grief, victory and heartache, you are the one 
that I want to walk this journey with until we are home. By the giving and receiving of a ring, I now pronounce them man and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Within this Christian vision of marriage, here's what it means to fall in love. It is a look at another person and to get a glimpse of what God is creating and to say, I see who God is making you and it excites me and I want to be part of that and I want to partner with you and God in the journey that you are taking to His throne. It's not just the picture-perfect dancing in a white dress. It's not just rainy days when nothing stops the fighting. It's not just highs and lows and champagne toasts. I've come to know that love is not only the best days or the worst days. Love is Tuesdays. you are a gift to each other and to us and together to your corner of the world and I think of your heart for sharing the gospel and Patrick you're especially gifted in seeking out and articulating and standing on truth and Gloria you're gifted in dispensing truth in a loving manner and that's a beautiful combo Today I give you my heart, my mind, and my hand as we embark on this sacred journey of marriage. I fully devote myself to our marriage and to you. Gloria Bridges, you are the love of my life, my perfect bride, and my shining half. I love you and I'm for you. I love you beyond the deepest expressions of my words and I am for you.